Cinderella. Long ago and far away, there lived a young pretty girl, Ella. Her mother was dead and her father had married a widow with two daughters. One day, Ella's father had to go on a long trip. He asked Ella to take care of her stepmother and stepsisters. Ella's stepmother scolded her always. All her love, kind thoughts and every home comfort were for her own daughters. Ella had to work hard all day to make everyone happy. But her life was very miserable. Only in the evenings, Ella was allowed to sit for a while near the cinders. One day, her stepsisters said, Look at her gathering cinders from the fireplace. Let's call her Cinderella. One fine morning, a royal messenger came to the door with an invitation to the princess ball. The stepmother and her daughters became very excited for the ball dance. Cinderella also wanted to go there, but she did not have guts to ask her stepmother. Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters dressed in their finest clothes, whereas Cinderella did not even dare to ask if she could go too. She went back to her room and started crying on her destiny. Cinderella was sitting in her room sadly thinking about the ball. She murmured, I'm so unlucky. No, dear, said a voice. To Cinderella's amazement, a fairy appeared in front of her. The fairy smiled and said, I've come to grant your wish. With a wave of fairy's wand, Cinderella found herself wearing the most beautiful dress with lovely shoes. There was also a golden coach with a handsome coachman for Cinderella to reach the palace. Cinderella could not believe her eyes. She was very happy. Thank you, fairy, Cinderella said, and stepped into the coach. The fairy warned, The magic will last only till midnight, so leave the place before midnight, Cinderella promised and went towards the palace. When Cinderella entered the palace, everyone at the ball was very surprised to see the beautiful stranger. The prince gazed at her and danced only with her for the rest of the night. Cinderella was having a wonderful time at the ball. Suddenly, the clock struck twelve. She remembered what the fairy had said and ran from the palace as fast as she could. As she ran, she lost one of her shoes. The prince followed but could not catch up to her. The prince found Cinderella's shoe. He was now madly in love with her. Holding the glass shoe in his hands, he said, I will find the beautiful lady whose foot fits into this shoe. The next day, the prince said to his ministers, Go and search for the girl whose foot this shoe fits. The search for the princess true love began. Every home in the kingdom was visited. The ministers tried the shoe on the foot of every girl in the kingdom, but no one's foot could fit inside. Cinderella's stepsisters too tried to wear the shoe, but they failed. Only Cinderella, who was working in the house, was left. The ministers insisted her to try the shoe as well. When Cinderella wore the shoe, to everyone's amazement, it fitted perfectly. The prince was happy to find his love. He took Cinderella to his palace. Cinderella married the prince and lived happily ever after. If you like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below.